the South Shore Community Action Council Food Resources Program and Food Distribution Center works extra hard around the holidays, especially Thanksgiving through Christmas. The organization collects and provides food for the county's needy and also for school programs. PCN stopped in to learn more. South Shore Community Action Council has been in existence 50 years and we provide a variety of programs. Um, the Food Distribution Center is one, fuel assistance, we have consumer aid. Um, we do a lot of different programming in the community to help people help themselves. We have four Plymouth schools. Cold Spring School is our newest, Hedge School, Indian Brook, and Nathaniel Morton. And we provide food for the children that receive free lunch for the weekend. Um, these are children that may have had no food after school lunch until Monday morning breakfast. So um, it's, it's a critical step, especially with young minds that are growing and improving. Um, we've had an improvement in attendance, um, less visits to the nurse with food issues like, um, like an upset stomach that might be just a hunger issue as opposed to the flu or illness or something like that. I, I appreciate the donation of turkeys from um, the baseball team. It's wonderful that they've stepped up to do this and um, I know the community really appreciates it. Today is kind of exciting, especially for our clients. Today we're lucky enough to be receiving 30 turkeys from the Gobla. And we're very excited because this means a lot to the people we service. Most of our women are recent victims of domestic violence and they truly are living at poverty level. But they also live a lot of times under the grid because of the perpetrator of the crimes of domestic violence. We have over 41 requests for Thanksgiving assistance this year and we hope to provide all 41 families with some sort of Thanksgiving dinner. We're extremely grateful and our clients would be lost without this food bank service. My wife and I, Lynn Shaughnessy, own a small business in town, Shaughnessy Rentals, and we also three years ago um, partnered with seven other small business, uh, six other small businesses in town, and we um, brought to Plymouth the first college um, baseball team, uh, summer baseball team. Um, the program, the reason for bringing the program to Plymouth um, was for a couple reasons. One is to provide a source of entertainment for such a great community. Number two, to raise some money um, through ticket sales, through um, concessions, through apparel, um, so that we can give it back to the community. And that's what brings us here today. We've um, thought of some, outlet, some outlets and the South Shore Action Council being a unbelievable program for the community. It helps those that are, are not as fortunate and um, we're very happy to partner with them and be able to prov provide uh, 200 turkeys so that people don't go without a meal this Thanksgiving. I'd like to thank the Plymouth Pilgrims for stepping up to the plate on this. I know it's not baseball season but uh, hopefully they'll be back at it. It's a great uh, Great take for the community to have a, a baseball club in town. So um, I'd like to thank the uh, Lions Club of Plymouth. They've made some generous donations. They were able to help us secure a walk-in freezer uh, for Linda, the food resource manager. So without that walk-in freezer, we, we wouldn't be able to take 200 frozen turkeys in. Basically, hunger is not a seasonal thing. It's a year-round thing. It's something that's constant. So it's just the holidays. People seem to get an upwell of uh, giving, and thankfully uh, Dan and the baseball team in Gobbles was able to come out and help out this year.